I'm going to call it a showdown in the South China Sea. Chinese officials reacting to a U.S. Navy ship passing within miles of the disputed Spratly Islands. It's a move that's been seen as a challenge to China's territorial claims. The latest report is that the Navy ship followed, was followed at a safe distance by a Chinese ship during its passage through the South China Sea. No incident reported. But you could say this is Obama administration pushing back a little on China. All right, go to the Middle East. According to the Washington Post, President Obama considering putting boots on the ground on the front lines in Syria and Iraq. Pushback, maybe. Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North joins us now. I use the expression pushback against China. <laughs> you look skeptical and pushback in the Mideast. You are skeptical. Not much of a pushback, right? Well, not much at all, Stuart. In fact, what the Chinese have long been doing, and it's been going on for almost 10 years, certainly reaching a crescendo, is basically building new islands by dredging out and fortifying them. The Philippines have been complaining about it forever. The Koreans, certainly the Vietnamese, Indonesia, and now the United States has finally sent a ship through challenging the so-called international rights of 12-mile of offshore limits for what they consider in Beijing to be their property. It, in the Middle East, what I think we're seeing now is finally, and I think it reflects the fact that fighting Joe Dunford is now the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, is a real effort underway, finally, to win the war against ISIS. Hmm. And it's not, it's taken a long time. It's so not you, necessarily guaranteed, but it, there is going to be pushback. So th this is real. Uh, this is going to happen. We are going to be attacking ISIS, boots on the ground. We're going to do this, you think? Well, I've been pushing for this, you know, ever since 2011 when he did what the troops call the Obama bug out, pulling out of Iraq. If he hadn't done that, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in right now. The problem with some of the ideas that appear to be coming out of the White House, for example, a no-fly zone over Syria. Well, a no-fly zone over Syria is going to put you in a direct confrontation with Russia. Vladimir Putin is playing Barack Obama like Charlie Daniels plays the fiddle. The idea of us being able to confront the Russians terrible. is loopy. You are terrible. However, okay. but, you, but you do <laughs> see this as the beginnings of a turnaround. We're no longer in full retreat, walking away. We're actually walking back in just a little bit. You see that yeah. as a turnaround. I, I do, Stuart. And the fact that he didn't go on television and talk about his condolences for Master Sergeant Wheeler getting killed in that raid last week, and then the dance that Secretary Carter the defense secretary I had to do about was this combat or was this aiding and assisting, at least with this acknowledgement that we are going to put boots on the ground at the brigade level, you're going to have four, de four deployed Ford Air Controllers and advisors on the ground with combat brigades, puts them in harm's way more so than they are today. The bottom line of it is they want to do this dance about, where, well, what is combat and what isn't combat. Right. Oliver North. Come back soon, okay? We don't see enough we'll do. of you. That's good stuff. I'll be, over, I'll be over there next week. I'll call you from Erbil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do that. Yeah, we'd like that. Yeah. Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North, thank you very much indeed, sir.